Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be doing some end of season trophy pushing using this deck right here, guys. One of the strongest and best golem beatdown decks in Clash Royale right now. It's a 4.4 elixir golem lightning mini pick a bomber deck. Currently is the most popular golem deck in the entire game above 6,000 trophies. Absolutely absurd, guys. Very, very strong deck. And honestly, on the easier side to play as well. The whole idea of these Golem decks is just play defense until double extra period, then go Golem, go Night Witch, lightning their defense, and GG's, you win. So overall, a uh, very, very fun deck. Once again, if you want to support me, feel free to throw in creative code Shane into your shop before you buy past Rael or special offers or gems. There is a new season starting up soon. So if you want to be prepared for that, go ahead right now, throw in creative code Shane, and you're good to go for when you want to buy the new Pass Royale. It costs you nothing extra, and it's a great way to help support me and help support the channel. So thank you to anyone using creative code Shane in your shop. We have Bomber in a starting hand, which will likely be our opening play if the opponent does not go. But he's going to go with the NATO on this side. I guess if you're ever using a Goblin Build deck, always use your NATO or your Goblin Build in that spot. Don't use your NATO. I did because that was a terrible NATO. But always use your Goblin Barrel in that spot because it prevents it from getting natal to the King Tower. And this will be a Log Bait deck, which unfortunately is a solid counter for Golem Lightning. Because he's got the Infernal Tower in there and a bunch of Swarm cards. Princess destroys your Night Witch. Swarm cards distract your Mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and you have no immediate answer for the Goblin Barrel. So this is a difficult matchup for us. This is a bit of a difficult matchup for us, just because, like, they got so much swarmy stuff. Plus, Rocket can kill, like, if you get a big push going on, they just Rocket it. You can Lightning Spell there in front of Tower, but that's about it. You got nothing for the, uh, the swarm stuff. That's kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is, and it's not when it's not. It'll be what it'll be, and it won't be what it won't be. Okay, we cool with that. Mega here. Kills the Goblin Barrel pretty nicely. The, that's, the, that's the problem with not having any Barrel counter. You have no Barbarian Barrel in this version of the deck, so you have no way of effectively killing that Goblin Barrel with this uh, strategy. So, because we are just about to hit Double Superior, we're going to go Golem right here. We should hit Double Superior before that Golem crosses the river. That Princess is a great choice by him. I'm going to go Bomber for that. What that Princess does is it applies pressure and forces us to spend Elixir uh, not supporting our Golem, which now means we can't really afford the Lightning Spell for the uh, Infernal Tower on time, basically. Wait for it. There we go. The Golem will kill the... Uh, oops. That's supposed to be a Natal. My bad. I want to Natal that Princess to my Night Witch. My bad. Mobby and Mobby. Cool, cool, cool. That's directly on tower there. So we got to activate King Tower with that one. Golem here. Might get me back here for this. Cool, cool, cool. Now we get a lightning spell ready for some Infernal Tower here. Right now. Nittles back here. Bomber throws one shot. The Golem might finish that tower off with his death damage there. We'll kind of see how it goes. It should finish the tower off there. Nice. Good game. That's a, that's a very difficult battle for us. Good game. Well played. If we had the Barbarian Barrel version of this deck, uh, it'd be substantially easier. Some Golem decks have the Barbarian Barrel in there. Some of them don't. So that's what makes it difficult for us. GG's though. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Mr. Nova won. Good luck, sir. Good luck. So, another Ice Spirit deck, eh? Another Ice Spirit. Hmm, I'm gonna go Bomber for that. It's the cheaper Elixir cost. Honestly, though, I probably could have gone Bomber right here and bombed it. Why did I use it directly on top? I don't know. You know what sucks, dude, is when you don't have your stuff for his stuff. It kind of sucks, man. That's okay, though. 
Mm. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, Expo. Really unfortunate. If I would have had that golem a little bit earlier for his Expo, would have been fine. But I shouldn't do my golem right there because he can go Expo right here. He will. Let it lock on and then go Bomber here. Oh, why do you have mini pick in that Expo deck? That's disgusting. That's nasty, dude. That's nasty. Go, Golem, go. All right, we're good. Golem gets there with the assistance of the Golem death damage. We got a little bit of work done. Gonna go Night Witch here for this. If he goes Fire Switch, we're gonna go Baby Dragon for that. Okay, cool. He's got a fairly fast cycle deck, which means he will be able to get back to his Expo before we get back to our Golem. Which is highly unfortunate, but... That's the way she goes, dude. That's the way she goes. Mega there. Anything else for that? Let's go. Okay. What else he got, my dude? Bomber might get some work done to that uh, that night witch there, though, eh? Golden explodes. Thank you. Hmm. This is the issue, is his cycle game. Way too strong, man. Way, way too strong. Let's go. Hmm. We can't kill this expo without spending over elixir. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. So, Bat's getting in there, getting some work done. Exactly what I wanted to see. Bomber here. It's gonna fireball my bomber. Hits my mini P.E.K.K.A as well, which kind of sucks. Ah. I don't like the way any of these interactions are going here. Wait for this. Who his fast cycle is so annoying, dude. We got nothing for this expo. He's so fast cycling, we can't get it. There we go. Hmm. It's getting tough in here, boys. Wait for it. Golem right here, please. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with that, guys. That witch here. Hmm. Change my mind, I'm not okay with that. Expo destroys us, that sucks. Golem to the tower right lane though. The fire spits just annihilate my witch though. But the golem explodes. The bats are still alive, getting some work done there. We just need one more golem to win here, boys. One more golem. Lightning spell for the win. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. One more golem explosion, please. Ah, uh, it's so disgusting. Literally, I didn't do anything there to win. I played pretty bad. I don't deserve that win, but we did. Uh, because the golem is OP. Literally, golem death damage just won us the game right there. Wow. That was, uh, <laughs> unfortunate for him. He deserved that win. He played so good. GG's, man. GG's. Alrighty, boys and girls. We'll do a few more battles over here. Keep it going. Keep it going against Mr. Diego. That's what I think, Diego, too. I have that one too, but I'm going to go with... Where is my version? Uh, Right here. Ah! Diego. Wait a minute. Don't I have... Where's the yes emote? Why is this not in my deck? Yes. That totally should be in my deck. <laughs> Please use something that can lightning spell. That's okay. But I don't want to do it yet. Honestly, though, if I would have did it, we might have got some P.E.K.K.A. shots. I should have did that. It's just, it's 60 likes here for four. Tesla's four. Lightning. Yo, seriously? Diego? Why do you have to have P.E.K.K.A., man? Who uses, literally who uses P.E.K.K.A. and Tesla in a deck? That really sucks. Let's go camera two here. This will make us win if we go camera two. Who in their right mind uses Pekka, Tesla? 
This is what I call, guys, this is what I call in Clash Royale a hard counter. This is a hard counter right here. Because, uh, he's got Pekka Poison and Tesla. Tesla pulls the Golem over. Pekka kills my Golem. Poison kills the Night Witch. He's got Baby Dragon. He's got Witch. We, oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I really, oh my goodness. We're so, we're so dead. We're so freaking dead, dude. We're so freaking dead. Nice log, dude, though, eh? That one skeleton just destroyed my uh, bomber. It's kind of sad, eh? Kind of sad days. All right, so someone tell me. Somebody please enlighten me right now. What exactly is that I'm supposed to do, Clash Royale, in this defense? Somebody please enlighten me. Okay. That was successful. But, like, he's got freaking Tesla and, and, and Pekka? What do I do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're so dead. I've never been deader in my career, man. Holy smokes. Can I spell this? We can never break through this battle. Even if I try and go Golem opposite lane, like if he uses his P.E.K.K.A. out of rotation, I go Golem opposite lane. He's got Tesla. He's got that Tesla? What is it in there? What is he doing? What do I do? <laughs> Somebody please send help. Like even if I'm in Golem right lane, he just goes, boom, P.E.K.K.A. in my face. And then I go, boom, dead. Wait for it. Come on. Nice. There we go. Mm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Oh, he's got so much stuff. Let's try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy here, guys. We're gonna go YOLO right now. This is me literally going YOLO. Nope. See? He's got Tesla and Pekka and Poison. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody send me help. I require your assistance right now, boys. Boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Assistance is required right now. Oh, uh, why me? Why me? Ah, oh, GG's, dude, GG's. This is a tough battle, man. You guys gotta admit. This is a tough battle. I tried everything in the book. I tried opposite land pressure. Tried same land pressure. Nothing works. Not in this matchup, boys. Not in this matchup, boys. Mmm, good game. Good game. Well played. F's in chat, please. Boys and girls, please, F's in chat. Please. <laughs> uh, Diego, your deck is disgusting. Honestly, if you didn't have Tesla in there, we would have we had a, sl a, a better chance. Way better chance of winning. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. GG's. GG's, though. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. Go and beat down for the win. Good luck, sir. Hmm. Do not like seeing log bait decks, I can tell you that much. For to have the log version of this deck, or the barbarian build version of the deck, sorry. Then the bomber version. Just for this one matchup here. Sir? Hmm. This is highly unfortunate. This is highly unfortunate, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yikes. All I can say right there, boys and girls, is yikes. There's the rascals, yep. Honestly, though, we killed the, uh...
We killed the Rascals there with the Baby Dragon, so it wasn't crazy. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hmm, okay. So, it's going to be difficult, man. What do we do here? I think that was the best thing we can do there. Took a lot of damage, but like we literally got nothing for that prince. Hmm. That prince is gonna be a pain in the butt this battle here, I can tell you that much. Um Let's go Night Witch here. He might go Princess of the Bridge. Ooh, Rascals, okay. Booga Booga. Is what he say. Would have preferred the Dark Elven attacking my baby dragon, but unfortunately it was not the case today. There's the prince. Let's go. I'm gonna try to ignore that princess on the right. Actually, Bomber might reach her. And then reach the yes, the left lane. There we go. Might need to spell these two. So the golden got a little bit of damage done, but nothing too like crazy. Rascal's here in front of this goblin gang. Yes. That's directly on tower. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We good with that. We good with that. Nice, there we go. Okay. We're, we're not losing, but we certainly are not winning. That's the thing right now. That's the issue here is we're not losing, but we're not winning. It's back here. Okay, I need to spell here for the win. Oh, that's so close, dude. These battles are uh, fun, for sure. GG's, man, GG's. I like those battles. I feel like those battles, when you win them, like, they make you a better player, I feel like. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I like those battles. I like those battles a lot. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the final battle of the video. Let's see how we can do. Sir? Hello? You know what sucks? It's when I specifically have NATO and mini pack on my deck, and, it, and we have none of them. <laughs> this game don't like me, man. We have none of them. Why? What did I do to deserve such a fate? Clash Royale, did I anger you, Clash Royale? Did I anger you so? All right. All righty. My plan here is to go no uh, golem until that looks a period. We'll try and do that, but we might fail. We'll see how it goes. Yo! Seriously, bruh? Seriously, bruh, bruh? Can he hit me up with that? Okay, I see ya. Arr, the hog rider. To my tower, Urgh, there we go. Okay, King Tower activated. Our tower is dangerously low though. Here's the thing, against 2.6 Hog Rider, if your opponent is smart and uses their Musketeer way far away from their cannon, you have a chance of winning. If they don't, it's very difficult. 
I mean, the opposite. If the user Musketeer way far away from their cannon, they, they have a chance of winning. If they use it next to their cannon, you lightning spell all three, then you have a uh, much better opportunity to win. You know? Let's go. Hmm. I'm going a bit too early, which is... The reason we can't get a lightning spell down here is because it is single exit period. Let's do this. Okay. Mini Pika almost gets a shot off. Fireball there. We got some Golemites to the tower there. I'm definitely okay with that, Jazz, for now. What you got, buddy? What you got? Where's your hoggy? So that exact... Where Ya? Yeah, my friend Ya yeah, top there. Where he's using the Musketeer is where you don't want to use it. Then you can do this. That's exactly where you don't want to use it there. Yeah. That's where you don't want to use it, guys. Is where he used it. Musketeer back here. Like, when you have cannon right here and musketeer right there, it's lightning value. If he were to go cannon in the middle here, and then musketeer like off way off to here, that's where you get value done. Because here's how it works. In this matchup, what you want to do is you want to pull that golem. You want the golem to go to the middle of the arena for that cannon. And then you use your musketeer like way off to the side. And then the musketeer can actually target the support units behind the golem. Uh, if you use everything together, they just lightning spell all three. So, GG's though. GG's master, yeah. GG's man. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Uh, here is... Currently, what I think is the best Golem deck in Clash Royale right now is definitely the most popular one being played on ladder. And is actually on the list of the highest net win rate decks above 6,600 trophies on ladder. So basically, uh, the top, like, leaderboard-ish. Um, yeah, this currently is, like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th spot for highest net win rate in Clash Royale above 6,600 trophies. Uh, with this deck. Very, very solid option if you want to push trophies on ladder. Just uh, beware of Packet Poison and Log Bait can be a bit of an issue. But besides that though, uh, Bomber does work. Lightning Spell does work. Uh, overall, overall, a very, very simple and straightforward deck. Once again, feel free to support me if you want to by throwing in critical chain into your shop before buying Pass Real or Special Shell Offers or Gems. It's just as easy as that. <laughs> just as easy as that. And you're good to go for whenever you want to do stuff. Although it does expire every seven days, so make sure you double check. But anyways, that is the end of the video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my Clash Royale content. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you in the next one.